everyone, welcome back to the Bat Prototype, and it's a Let's Play playing Attack of the B-Team, and we are in episode 14, I believe. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. Um, so I did actually record another episode, but apparently my program was actually turned off, so I didn't end up actually recording. Um, so what I did end up doing was dropping off more stuff, uh, creating a bin, um, which is great for throwing stuff away, such as, boom, because um, I had some stuff to throw away. And how you make that is, <laughs> I'm not going to redo the recipe, uh, but you put a iron pressure plate here, here, then an iron ingot in one of those spots, and then a stone block there, and that's what it it's, it's very useful. Um, now, the analyzer is still going through stuff, and this is kind of neat. It's a um, stone tablet. Uh, annoyingly, that actually doesn't stack, at least not that I've noticed. And uh, what you can do with it, let's see, now, but basically it's a, it's a, oh, <laughs> too big. Uh, it's a painting and the hell did it go? <laughs> hmm. No. No. I don't approve. <laughs> I hate it when shit like that happens. <laughs> you know, I have torches up there for a reason. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, for whatever reason, they just continue to be dinguses and keep showing up. It's very annoying. Do we gonna need a hug? I'll give you a hug. All right. Ugh. What you doing? Oh. Ow. Because you can never have too much uh, bones, arrows, and rotten flesh. So what I did end up doing um, also is uh, I made, I organized a lot of these um, chests. So over here we've got all the safari nets. Oh. Safari nets, <laughs> anything animal related right here, um, dragon eggs, which another time we'll go over that, but that's actually really fun. Uh, DNA that that has created, um, and those are some of the things that spawn other than DNA, and if I have meat, uh, meat. <laughs> um, and then stencils, which go along with the paintbrushes, which I have shown you how to do, um, record, which you know, in Attack of B Team, I've only seen two different um, record discs, uh, Cat and 13. I have not ever seen anything else, and I've been playing it for a while. Got a spare bucket, my chisel, my shears, um, since I wear my backpack most of the time, which I think I'm actually going to put that on. Um, and then those funky glasses. Then I kind of put some default uh, objects, like stuff I may use more, and I know uh, these tool rods I'll definitely use later on down the road, just not at the moment. This is telling me I really need to get some wood. Uh, these are miscellaneous blocks. This ice I will eventually turn into a block, but right now I'll just keep it stacked. Any books, any railing type stuff, um, and then... I have a method to my madness, it's actually really organized. Uh, anything from animals or uh, mobs I kind of have down here. So I've got like leather, wool, and uh, string. And then I've got the bone related stuff like skull, bones, uh, bone meal. Then some creature stuff as in like spider eyes and then feathers. Up here are the body parts and notice they're all from the necromancy mod, which I actually haven't um, really touched on at all, ever. <laughs> I've done witchery, which does a lot of the same stuff, um, 
but I'm kind of curious on what to do with that. Uh, a few heads of creatures. Some rotten flesh, because there are a few recipes that's needed, so I'm going to want at least a stack of that. And then uh, some ink. And I also showed y'all how to... I don't think this one popped up on the recording either, and it was a... Uh, um, how I made these reinforced chests, which are significantly bigger, and I specifically put all the uh, ore in this one because it will fill up completely um, to the point I'll probably have to make another one. But I kind of, I haven't organized this one yet, but I usually put like a block and then the ore and so on, and then have these type of precious jewels like sapphires and rubies in one line, miscellaneous shapes, uh, like ender pearls and slime in another, um, and then I've got these ones down here, but I'm not too worried about that. Oh, the whole point of me going in there was uh, with the reinforced chest, which I know you can make with other ores, but the most like easiest is because iron is everywhere. You make, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna use this as a symbol, but you get a full block of iron and then put an ingot in all four corners, put a chest here, and then a wood, not wood plank, in the leftover spots, and that will create a reinforced chest. I do want to make a uh, cultivator uh, from the fossil, uh, uh, this thing right here, but as you can see, you need cactus green, and I do not have that, and I don't have any other plants that can actually make cactus green, because there are some other um, plants in this mod. Uh, I've Obviously, I've got grass, and I can do a bucket of water, but at this point, it's just not... It ain't feasible. I'm still curious on where that damn thing went because I've never seen them disappear before. <laughs> um, let's see. So one of the things I wanted to do in this one uh, was start planting some of the seeds. As you can see, I, I've started to organize. I actually am going to make a separate box for the trees um, and uh, flowers. <coughs> And I apologize, my voice is starting to go a little bit, um, but I really want to get some of these plants started so I can make some, make some food sources um, stuff. Hmm. But I also really, 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 really need some wood. So I think... I think I might do the spruce, because though bamboo is really easy, you can't quite do the same things with it. Uh, same thing with palm. And Sakura can grow off a bunch. I could... I guess I could do these. Um, they can grow fairly big and have random wood sources, which will give me more option. Usually it's oak or jungle, but sometimes spruce and some other things, but I've got literally like nothing here um, for wood. Um, and the on only jungle piece of wood I have left is going to be used for the coconuts, so I need to... Uh, I guess I'll use this one. I need to make a ha. Huh. <laughs> My kid's so cute. Uh, cute. So I've got my hoe and some leftover wood. Okay, so this is something I know. I'm gonna... all over the place. I apologize. <laughs> uh, I'm going to... I was like having a few blocks on hand as well. Uh, I'm going to do this. Just out in front here. And poof! And 
any time now. Are you kidding me? Excuse me. Excuse me. It's eating up my bone meal. Good thing I have a lot of options here. <laughs> um, let's try the white one. What it probably some sometimes it's kind of a pain in the ass and won't grow. Uh, what's probably going on there is it's gonna have to grow on its own. Ah, that was not intended. Hmm. Well, this gives me some seeds to work with, I guess. Um, I don't know. Why aren't you growing? I don't approve. All right, I'm gonna have to try. Let's try the spruce. This should work. And that, since I have another flower, this should work with the spruce at least. Come on. I need wood, people. Yay! Yeah, I think... So you don't see those stars popping up. But it's eating my bone meal, so that's stupid. Um, I don't know. It's been a bit bizarre. Let's see. Oh, I got one sapling again? Hmm. Oh no! this a few times before I just let it go because I want to build a fence too to block out any of the bad little creatures from playing in my food ah there we go One more time. See, that's how bone meal is used. <laughs> I do love having this bat morph. It makes life so much easier. There we go. one down. Yeah, I think the dyed ones are just going to have to kind of grow on their own at this point. It's annoying, but these can be used in dyeing stuff as well, so that will be useful later. save space. I'm going to break these down. I didn't want to do um, a fence with light wood because <laughs> uh, you got to be careful with that because sometimes it, it does get a little bit funky there. Oops. So give this a little extra piece there.
Okay. I'm definitely going to have to, you know, screw it. I'm just going to make it all at once. It's awfully quiet out there. Awfully quiet. It's probably creepers just chilling out like, what's up? <laughs> You having fun out there? Bloop. All right, I think. Ugh, what is up with these spiders? Um, I hear you, batty. I want... Okay, so I think I'm going to have my plants here. Um, and the animals over there. And you know what I think I'm going to end up doing? Hmm... Um, Debating whether I want to make like a glass um, greenhouse, which I think I might because that'll protect it from getting jumped on. Oh, goody gumdrops. <laughs> I still need to flatten some of this out for sure. Hmm. Yeah, I think this would be best. Um, for the creatures, for sure. Though this has more space to plant stuff, I think just to make it easier, because um, I do plan on having multiple types of animals over here, it gives them more space to, if I need to breed them. <coughs> God, the hats on these creatures are so bizarre. Oop. I didn't really want that. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to make a greenhouse. So then we need to get some dye for the greenhouse. I think next episode I'm going to be using my safari net to go grab some animals elsewhere. <laughs> and maybe even find some more food or more different trees. back into the mine shaft because I have not finished going through it, but I got priorities. Peeps. No. Damn it. <gasps> so, this is interesting. Come down here. Come down here. I want to Show them. Come on, come on. Do you see? It's poisoning him. Because that, my dears, is sewage. But of course you're not dying. Why aren't you dying? Alright, so I think I'm going to leave it off right here. I'm going to fence this off because I will use this at a later time. 
and uh, flatten out the ground <laughs> because that's really boring. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.